Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to perform learning assignment 11 where we will implement delete item functionality in SPFX client side web part application. So let's look into the steps. What are the steps we are going to follow? So guys, to implement delete list item functionality, we have to first create a variable to get the ID from the input values. That is our step 1. Then we will proceed further and perform the step 2 where we will import the module to perform HTTP operations from SPFX application. Once it is being done, then we will proceed to the step 3 where we will prepare the REST API URL as well as the header. For delete case, we are not going to implement body part of it because as you know that delete operation doesn't require any kind of a body that we have already seen when we are performing the activity in the postman. You remember while working with the postman tool over here, we haven't provided any kind of a body. We just provided the header information and that is what we are going to do inside the SharePoint client side web part application. So now let's proceed further. Once step 3 has been completed, then we will proceed to the step 4, where we will prepare a piece of code to perform the RESTful call from the SPFX client side web part application. Now at last, at step 5, we will implement the click event functionality on delete button. So let's jump into the Visual Studio code to perform all these steps. So guys, I am inside the Visual Studio code and I am going to write the code for our delete operation. So how I will do that? I will come here, I will tell private and I will tell delete this item. And within that, first I will write the code which will grab the ID. So how I will write? I will copy this line of code. So this will give us the ID. Once it is being done, step 2 if you remember that is one time activity that is importing of the module and we are working in the same file so it is not required. That's the reason I am skipping over here. Now I am performing the step 3 where I need to build the URL as well as header. For the URL, I am going to copy the same code because it is going to remain same where we are building a REST API. And over here we are passing the ID which we are grabbing at step number 1. So let's copy this one. We have already copied and we will come over here and paste it. Once it is being done then we will build the header. So let me copy this part. This is the header part and over here I will come and specify the header part. And the thing which I wanted to change over here is this particular value that is going to be the delete. So this is going to tell our REST API that the operation which I want to perform is the delete operation if any record found. Now once it is being done I will copy the other piece of code which is almost similar but this time I am going to remove the body part. So over here I will delete this one. So now we are ready with the step 3. Now let's proceed further and perform the activity for step 4. And what is step 4? We need to prepare a code to perform restful call. For step 4 also I am going to copy this line of code because it is going to remain same. So over here I will paste it. And the only thing which I will change it over here is this one item deleted successfully. This message we will change. So now we are done with the step 4. So guys, in the step 5, we are going to create the click event functionality on delete button where we will call delete function which we have just created right now. So let's do it. So to implement the delete functionality on the button, we will come over here and we will copy paste this line of code and over here we will change this button ID. So let's grab the button ID first and over here I will come and grab the button ID and the button ID is btn delete and then I will go there and replace the value. So over here I will tell btn delete. Now over here I will change the method. Which method we are going to use? The method which we have created just now for delete operation copy this one and paste it. Now we are done with our delete implementation. So now let's build the code and do the gulp serve. So let's do it. We will go to the terminal, new terminal and over here I will write gulp build. We will start the building process. Now it has completed the build process. Now let's proceed further and write gulp so minus minus no browser into this command will start the server that you already know. So guys it is starting the server. So now our server is started. Let's go to the hosted workbench. So guys, I am inside the hosted workbench and over here I will add my web path. So now our app is added. So let's go to the SharePoint list and verify what are the IDs we are having. So we are having ID 3, 4, 5. Now I will specify ID number 4 and click on delete button. My expected behavior is that it should be deleted. So let's do it. I will come over here. I will write 4 
and click on delete and now I will go back and verify it and over here if you will refresh it then you will find that the entry number 4 is being gone so guys now we are done with the exercise so guys now we are done with the assignment let's wrap the session so guys in this learning assignment session we have gone through a step 1 to a step 5 where a step 1 we have created a variable and that was holding the value from the control once it is being done then we proceed to the step 2 which was not needed because we are already working in the same file so we skip that then we proceed to the step 3 where we have created URL and the header and inside the header we have told that we are going to perform delete operation if we find the record now at step 4 we prepare the code to perform the restful call and now at last step 5 we have associated delete list item functionality on a delete button so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care